I want to talk with you about something. When I perform with cards, I know that sometimes there is someone in the audience who has a little bit of, a little bit of trouble in following what I do. Because let's be honest about it, 52 cards is a lot of cards. So I say to myself, if I were able to come up with something which moves only a low number of cards, there would be nothing confusing about that. That's why today I want to show you something special. I want to show you something with only four cards. One, two, three, and four cards. Now the goal of this trick is to keep track of the two of hearts, okay? It doesn't matter what happens, you always have to keep track of the two. So if the two starts on the bottom and I just wear to reverse the order of these cards, the two now naturally is on top. However, there is one thing which I still don't understand. If I take the two, bring it on the bottom and snap, the two jumps back to the top. Wait, I'll do it again for you. If I take the two and I count the other three cards on top and snap, the two is still on top. You see, it really doesn't matter where I place it. I can even put it in the middle, but when I snap, the two is still on top. I can even put it aside, but the two would still be on top, and I can put it on the bottom, and the two would still be on top. Okay, let's review this together, shall we? I can do this trick in two ways. Number one, I can take the deuce, bring it on the bottom and snap, and it would be on top, and I can put it aside on the table, and it would still be on top. You see, I was doing this trick for a friend of mine last week, and at this point he saw me, and he said, ha ha! Antonio, I know how you're doing this trick. You are using four cards which are all the same. And you know what? The funny thing, he was right. I am using four cards which are all the same, you see, because the top card is a 10, the second card is a 10, the third card is a 10, and the fourth card is also a 10. So as a matter of fact, I'm using nothing but tens of spades. Now, do you have any idea what the name of this trick could be? Because, you see, at first, I wanted to call this the Four Deuces trick, but I didn't like it, it was such a lousy name. Eventually, I wanted to call this the Four Tens trick, but I didn't like it either. So, eventually, I ended up calling this the Four Kings trick, because it's done with nothing but the Four Kings. To all my Facebook friends, to my virtual family, I wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year! Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock Jingle bells swing and jingle bells ring Snowing and blowing up bushels of fun Now the jingle hop 